Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what do your spirit guides want you to know right now. So we have these cute three little buddhas here with different hand gestures. So we have group number one, group number two, and group number three. So let's see what your spirit guides want you to know. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of sound healing today just to chill you out and just to kind of cleanse the energy and just to get some positive energy in here so let me just do a little bit of sound healing and then we'll get started if you want to skip this you can carry on straight into the messages all the timestamps are down below Okay, so that is the sound healing. I hope you enjoyed. Let's get started with the messages. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with what your spirit guides want you to know. So let's see, we have this cute little Buddha here. I love these Buddhas. I think they're absolutely adorable. Put him there next to the flower. Right, let's get started and see what your spirit guides want you to know. So we have Simplify. We also have from the Tarot, the Nine of Swords, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. We also have Beloved and Gentleness. We have the Void. Oh, that's really, really wonky. I literally just realized. We have Bloodstone, Detoxifying, Root, Heart and Sacral Chakra. Watch your word. Fun, Rebirth and Domestic Harmony. Okay, so first of all, these two are really, really um, catching my attention with these two cards, okay? So what I'm seeing here is that you guys have really been going through a very intense rebirth and I feel that it's been very, very hard on you. Not only your soul, but also your emotions and how you're feeling about yourself just in general. And it could just feel like you're not kind of getting anywhere in life, okay? So we also have the void, which is number one. And this is actually a very good card from what I'm seeing with all the other cards here. I'm seeing that basically because you've gone through a very intense rebirth, you do feel like you're in this sort of void where everything feels a bit dark and kind of feels very, very gloomy. Also, with the domestic harmony, it's showing me that things probably in your home life probably haven't been the best. They probably haven't felt the most comfortable. So I do feel like this is going to change. You are actually going to get a lot of harmony in terms of your rebirth and in terms of your own emotions. You are going to feel a lot more better. With this domestic harmony, it's actually showing me that, you, that your home life is going to feel a lot better. You could also be moving house or thinking about moving house. This could be a point where in your in your rebirth where you actually want to move house and you actually want things to move, okay? So, we also have bloodstone detoxifying root, heart and sacral chakra. This is showing me that you guys, as I say, are detoxifying. You're having a rebirth, so obviously you would be detoxifying. Things are changing for you and things are moving at a rapid pace. And all of your chakras are basically being detoxified for this new energy to come in. So with Watch Your Words, it's basically showing me that it's really, really important for you guys to have some good conversations with people. To have some good conversations with people and to talk to people about how you really feel. And to have some fun. Totally forgot what I was going to say in mid-sentence because my doorbell rang. So basically, you guys, it's really important for you to concentrate on happy vocal like conversations. So what I'm basically trying to say is for you guys to really concentrate on having good conversations with people and to really get in the zone when it comes to conversational speaking. And what I mean by that is it's really, really important for you to just talk about how you feel and to not concentrate on any negative words and kind of anything that really isn't vibing with you because what's going to be really important with this point in time is that you're actually manifesting something really, really big. And what's really important for you is to just focus on the good stuff, you know. It's really, really important for you to focus on things that you want to achieve. 
and you want to go towards because the more you focus on the negative stuff the more you're going to be in that zone and obviously it's easier said than done guys like you can't obviously be positive all the time but what's really important for you is to just focus on fun and happiness as much as possible okay it's really important for you to be really really gentle with yourself you guys are actually preparing for your life partner if you are thinking love has never come to me i'm single i've always been single i've been single for a long time why is nothing happening basically guys you are in the middle of this rebirth to be joined with your life partner okay it says here prepare for your life partner romance is returning to your relationship believe you are lovable so if you're also having a hard time to do with love this is definitely um a sign for you to say that you are going into a relationship very soon and what's really important for you is just to be very kind to yourself and be have gentle words towards yourself because you may be quite hard on yourself it says be kind to yourself and others honor your honor your gentleness speak words of love so what's really important for you is just be very gentle with yourself and to also simplify your life if you if you feel like things are getting too complicated or you're thinking okay i have to do this 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 and this before my rebirth comes in or i have to do this this and this to initiate this rebirth that is not going to help, okay? You actually need to move away from this overthinking and you need to actually do less than what you've been doing. You need to do less, basically. Um, so if you feel like you need to do more, you need to do less, okay? But obviously, if you're doing less and you're resting up, that's really, really good. The universe and spirit guides want you to rest up. They want you to feel happy within yourself and they want you to be kind to yourself. So this is also giving love to yourself here with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. It's balancing out your emotions, balancing out how you really feel about yourself and to become um, more comfortable with your finances. You will become more comfortable with your finances. If finances have been almost like I'm hearing like a thing of the past, it feels like, oh, I really haven't been focusing on my finances that much because it feels like there's like no money around me at the moment. I just kind of gave up. This is a sign that your finances will be coming in and your career will be increasing tenfold i'm hearing i don't mean i never say that so that is definitely not me saying that so with the knight of cups it's also showing me that there is a love partnership coming in so it could be a water sign as well as an earth sign i'm, I'm feeling air as well also because we've got the um swords here but it can be basically any sign obviously earth water fire or air and basically this is showing me that there is somebody coming in on your path and i do feel like being around water is going to help you to relax a lot more and i'm feeling like baths being near a stream, being near the ocean, drinking a lot of water, just basically trying to purify and detoxify yourself as much as possible so you can become more balanced and more grounded. And I feel you're going into a more grounded place. So if you have been feeling really like your world is kind of topsy-turvy, like it's turning upside down, you are going to become much more comfortable with yourself and where you're at, okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope this helps. Much love to all those people out there who are feeling a little bit uncomfortable, are going through quite an intense time. You are going through a rebirth, guys. So if things feel a little bit too intense, just relax. It's going to be okay. This is a sign from the universe to kind of be chill and to not worry about things because things are coming to fruition, okay? And we also have three butterflies here. So this is showing me that possibly you transformed a lot in your life um you could also be a scorpio also and i do feel like the color blue is very prominent so it's basically to relax and to kind of talk about things about how you really feel and we've also got bloodstone heal the heart chakra so it's really kind of making sure you're really in your heart a lot of the time and not so much in your head meditation is going to be really good obviously as i said be gentle with yourself and i do feel like with these three butterflies it's like three stages of your life where you've gone from like the younger self to like the more adult self to the more like mature kind of like i really understand what's going on with my life now self which i think you're going into guys and if you're already there that's absolutely amazing also i do feel like you're going to have three people around you or two people around you that's going to be very very prominent they're going to be like almost like your tribe so you could have like a best friend and a partner um it could be like a partner and i don't know a sister a brother it could be just, there's just like two significant people around you who are very very prominent could even be a parent you know it's i do feel like your tribe is coming together and you are going to be supported with a partner um and it can also be a mentor coming in as well if you're not bothered about love or anything like that so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up um subscribe down below if you'd like to get a private room with me, all my information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what your spirit guides want you to know. We have this cute little Buddha here. I'm going to put him there. 
So let's see what your spirit guides want you to know. Sorry, these Buddhas are like, <laughs> they have loads of glitter on them. So all the glitter's going everywhere. So we have conceive, the eight of cups, the hanged man. And we also have the eight of swords. We also have receive. Okay, that's so weird. We have receive and conceive. <laughs> okay, so my spirit guides are rhyming today. Receive, and we also have healer. We then have power and moonstone. You are never alone. Inspiration, financial discipline, self-discipline, and time out. Wow, okay, so we have quite a lot of synchronizations with the words today obviously we have discipline twice and we have receive and conceive so what this is showing me guys is what's really important for you guys is to accept love coming your way and to accept gifts that are coming your way okay so what this is showing me is you guys are very very sensitive okay you're the sort of person who likes to have their alone time or you're the sort of person that gets overwhelmed quite quickly What's really important in the next stage of, that's coming into your life is they're basically telling you that it's okay to receive and to give, okay? Um, you may have been scared of receiving or giving just out of not feeling comfortable with, in your own skin, not feeling like you're loved, not feeling like things are going your way. This is just a clarification that whatever is going on in your life, you can do it and you can get through it and you're gonna get through it. You're moving away from all the, all the negativity and all the heartbreak and you're moving into a space where you can feel much more loved and open. I suddenly got like a massive opening. I felt like a massive opening of space. So I definitely feel like you guys are going to have that. You guys are going to get your power back and you're going to feel much more comfortable with where you're at. You're going to get a lot of inspiration from this, this new time that's kind of happening for you. And basically, you are never alone. You've always got people around you. And if you haven't, you always have your spirit guides and yourself to support you. Okay, and I do feel like you are going to be supporting yourself a lot more. You're going to feel much more comfortable with supporting yourself. Okay, we also have Moonstone, which I do feel like there is a cycle in your life that's happening where things are changing just as a natural occurrence. So if everything feels a bit upside down, th there is going to be a change around and things are going to feel much more happier. Okay, so with Conceive, I am feeling that some of you guys will get pregnant. Obviously, this is for you guys who are expecting a baby or are obviously trying for a baby I do feel like some of you will be conceiving a new born um, this could also be conceiving a new project a new uh, lease of life I'm hearing so it could be like could be some of you guys you've been through depression anxiety just really bad troubles that have really pushed you down and have caused you to feel like what's the point I do feel like you guys are actually conceiving a much better quality of life and you're going to feel much happier of where you're at. So if you're ever, if you're in this section of life where you're possibly moving away from old and into the new, if you're, or if you are basically like, okay, I've moved away from the old and into the new, where is my new thing coming? It is coming guys. Basically what it's showing you is to receive the gifts that are coming to you okay so and also i do feel like having a he healing session for yourself will be really really important so sound healing um reiki anything like that i do feel like that is very very prominent and with this card i have had this card before and it resonated with me very very hard and it's all about basically being a healer having faith in your abilities and knowing that you have this, these gifts for a reason and you may have been pushed down, you may have told that you're not good enough, that you have these gifts, like why do you have them, like aren't they a bit stupid, like that's not going to earn you money, things like that, basically being told things where you are not good enough, you're different, you're too sensitive, you're too emotional. I really feel like you guys are coming out of that and you're starting to realise you're in a power and you're starting to realise actually I have these gifts for a reason and I was born on this planet for this reason to help people and to help myself become more empowered and more confident, okay? So we also have the element of financial discipline and self-discipline. So what's this showing me? I do feel like it's really important for you guys to not overspend or overdo it, okay? So if you are in a kind of a uh, financial rut, I do feel like it's really important for you to self-love. And I know that's a very weird thing to say because obviously you think finances and self-love are nowhere near connected. They're actually very much connected. And 
the universe wants you to take a time out and as much as they as much as you think okay i need to keep working 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 until i'm knackered and tired and can't think straight you know they want you to actually do the complete opposite and take some time out as much as possible and this doesn't mean to completely stop working this means to just take some time out for yourself and just to focus on the moment and to not be in a busy mind where you're basically thinking about everything and everyone. You need to focus on yourself and to have self-discipline. And I do feel like this self-discipline probably sounds quite intense and quite obviously like quite harsh. But I'm actually feeling that it's actually taking a section of your time out just for you and just for focusing on yourself. And also to not be so hard on yourself if finances are very slow. Um, or possibly you are overspending out of possibly feeling unsafe or uncomfortable. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. I do feel like it's really important to not be so hard on yourself in terms of your finances and to not be um, so judgmental about possibly overspending or needing to spend out for a certain thing that you really, really need. You know, like don't be so hard on yourself because obviously you have all this money for a reason and it's there to be spent, you know, and if you want to treat yourself, do that, you know. And just to let you know, guys, that your finances will get better for some of you um, who need to hear that, okay? We also have You Are Never Alone. I do say this is a person who's going to help support you. This could also be you supporting yourself. But I do say this is you feeling like you are very much alone and feeling like, I can't do this. I don't feel like any... I. I feel like I'm always alone, I feel like no one understands me. This is basically showing you that you're never alone and the universe is always with you. And this is clarification that you always have yourself to go off by, you always have yourself to, to support yourself. And also we have the number six, so please look up the number six, I do feel like it's very significant. Four and two you could also be seeing as well as extra clarification. And I do feel like for this, for this group, it does feel like you're very much in hermit mode right now. So if you are feeling like you're in hermit mode, you want to be just on your own or why aren't things happening? I do feel like things are going to happen. You just need to take a little bit more time out, okay? And also with this car, I do say you're going to meet your partner, your soul partner, if you haven't met them already. I do feel like you are going to meet that significant person who really, really helps you feel comfortable. It doesn't actually have to be a partner either if you're not really bothered about a partner or you're looking more for friendship or both. I do feel like you're going to have that significant friend who's really going to support you or you're going to have a significant person in your life that's really going to support you whether that's a teacher whether that's um whether that's a colleague a friend you know even a neighbor somebody who's going to support you I do feel like that's coming in and you are actually going to get a lot of inspiration out of this time out so if you feel like this time out is going to literally you're not going to get anything out of it you are actually going to get out a lot of inspiration and you're probably going to get some ideas that you wouldn't have if you were in your in your busy mind okay um and that's yeah that's what i'm feeling for you guys so i really hope you like this video um if you'd like to please subscribe i would really really appreciate that um if you didn't like this video or it didn't resonate with you then feel free to you know pick another group or if it didn't resonate that's totally fine then just let it fly I also do private reading, so if you guys would like a private reading, all the information is down below. Before I go, guys, I have one more message. I am seeing in this card that there's various butterflies in this group, and we had this for group number one as well. I do feel like you guys are coming out of the dark and into the light, and it's almost like these butterflies are kind of remind me of bats, where bats are kind of in a cave, and then they suddenly come out at night. I do feel like you guys are doing that. You possibly are um, getting ideas at night time, or your dreams are going to be very significant. So I do feel like you guys are actually going to possibly receive something at night, possibly like a download or, I don't know, a text message or something like that where it's going to be from somebody very of, of a lot of significance. Um, it could also be you realise something at night time or basically it just means that you guys are coming out of the dark and into the light and you guys are really, really on the right track, okay? So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group number three, let's get started with your reading and let's see what your spirit guides want you to know. Okay, let's put the little Buddha there. So let's see what we have. So from the tarot, let's start off with the tarot. We have the devil, the six of cups. We have temperance. I'm gonna move this little guy here because I need a bit more space. We also have the death card, the eight of wands, and we also have the nine of wands wow okay so a lot of you guys are going through quite an intense time at the moment is what i'm seeing we also have flow find an easier path forward surrender the outcome release your expectations freedom live wild and free choose your freedom claim your independence we also have change wow yeah i definitely see that with the death card holy shit that's amazing 
We also have Citrine, Abundance and Creativity, Solar Plexus Chakra. We then have Personal Growth. We have Individuality, Change. Oh, we also have another tarot card here. I did not see that. We have the Hierophant. Starfish Spirit, open, open to Infinite Possibilities compassion and we also have courage so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to work with these cards on top and then i'm going to move them so you guys can see the cards underneath so we have courage open to infinite possibilities and compassion so for you guys you guys are going through a very intense time or you have been going through a very intense time there's been a lot of past hurt that's kind of caused you guys to feel like oh my god my life is turning upside down um, this has been a common theme throughout the groups today, actually, in this video. We also have the Hierophant. So you guys are actually moving into something that's much more stable and you're becoming much more balanced. And because you've gone through this death process, you felt like, okay, when is my next thing coming? It's definitely coming, okay? Try not to um, hold yourself back in terms of a new opportunity because I do feel like something new is coming and it will cause you to possibly feel a little bit confused or a little bit nervous because it's just so new and you're probably not used to this new life. It could be like a new job opportunity, you moving somewhere, a new relationship. It could be any of those things. But it's actually causing you to have a lot more freedom. And possibly you may not have had a lot of freedom for a long time. Whether it's um, being in a relationship that's very strenuous, being in education for a long time. If you've kind of come out of school and gone into uni or something like that. Or you could have been working for a long time and you're basically trying to have your own business. It could be anything like that. Obviously, it's going to be very, very kind of, or sometimes it can be very nerve-wracking because change can be nerve-wracking, but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I do feel like you guys are possibly just going to feel a little bit nervous, but I don't feel like that's anything bad. I just feel like you just need to get used to this new life that's coming in. So don't knock it. I'm here. Don't knock it till you try it, okay? So we have courage, open to infinite possibilities, and compassion. So with these tarot cards here, we can see that basically we have courage, and it's almost, as I say, it, it's basically telling you to have courage within this new opportunity and you're going to have so many different possibilities coming forward for you guys okay because you guys are balancing yourself out the universe is seeing how much compassion you're giving to yourself and it's like okay we really need to give this person all of these blessings you know and you're going to have a lot of abundance of creativity which is absolutely amazing because you're being courageous and you're actually stepping into this new life the universe is like, wow, we really got to give this person, you know, all the blessings and all the amazingness. I also got the solar plexus chakra. So I do feel like this courage is very much connected to that. And it's having the courage to step forward into your creativity and being like, actually, I want a more creative job or I want a more creative life where I can express myself. And you're also going to be much more compassionate towards yourself. You're going to have a much more um, compassionate way of life. You're going to feel much more calmer. I do feel like you're going to trust the universe a lot more, possibly more than what you have been. And new things are coming through. So I'm just going to put these cards over here so we can focus on these ones underneath. So I definitely feel like, as I said, you're going into a much more stable... Oops, you're going into a much more stable energy. You possibly are going to um, meet your soulmate from the past. As I say, when I say past, it could actually be from your past. But it could also be somebody who is a past life person. Somebody you met in a past life. And basically they're coming back around in this life okay you guys are going to go through a massive amount of change or you are also or you are now going through a massive amount of change if you aren't seeing this change yet you are going through it okay oh my god i actually did not realize we have changed twice literally only just realized that <laughs> so you guys are going through a massive change that's absolutely stunning and you guys are realizing that you are your own individual person and you can do what you want you know you don't have to answer to anybody you don't have to have anyone's permission you don't have to make sure oh Am I able to do this? You know, you you guys are going to manifest an extremely amazing life where you can just do whatever you want. Obviously not, obviously, you know, with boundaries. <laughs> but basically, I do feel like you guys are going to be very, very happy with where you're at. So the reason I feel the need to pull one of these cat tarot cards. We have the three of pentacles. So yeah, it could be you guys are actually feeling a lot more stable within your work life. And you actually find a lot of, uh, you actually find your tribe where you feel a lot more happier with your life. Okay, you feel a lot more comfortable with where you're at. And you feel a lot more comfortable conversing with different people. Whereas before you possibly may not have felt that. Because you may have felt a little bit insecure because of past hurt or anything like that. And also this personal growth is causing you to feel much more like yourself. You're going to feel a lot more like yourself. And you're going to have this massive amount of freedom that I don't think you had before. I don't feel like you possibly did have freedom. But it didn't, but it didn't feel like personal freedom. It just felt like, you know, what other people would class as freedom. Say like doing a course that you really liked but actually you didn't really want to do it because possibly your parents told you to do it or you possibly felt like there was some sort of pressure to do it for some reason 
I do feel like this is changing and everything is flowing much more freer for you guys. Things are flowing so amazingly well. Like I can really feel this flow coming in. So if you guys are thinking this isn't happening for me, everything is so stuck. I do definitely feel like it's going to be flowing for you very, very soon. And you're going to come into this massive change where everything is just going to expand for you. And you're going to be like, holy mother F. This is amazing and I'm going to, you're going to feel so much, you're going to feel so much greater about yourself. You're going to feel like, wow, things are changing for me and it's going to be absolutely amazing, guys. I keep looking, I keep looking at things for this group. I keep looking at my aura quartz and whenever I look at this, I know that things are going to change for you guys and it's going to be absolutely amazing because this is my happiness crystal. I love aura quartz, like this is titanium covered, this one. Every time I look at my... Um, any of my aura quartz, whatever, whichever one it is, I love these. These make me so happy because they're so shiny, they're so iridescent, they're just so, so pretty. So every time I look at these, I know things are going to be changing for you and it's going to be a massive, massive, massive shift. Okay, guys? And you also have the devil and the death card. Those two are very, very intense. I do also feel like with the devil and the six of cups... There could have been, as I said, as I said, if I haven't said it before, past life energy that could be coming in into your, it could have have that could have come into your life now, and it could have caused you to be like, okay, why is this happening to me? Like, am I a bad person? No, you're not a bad person, guys. I do just definitely feel like it could be like a karmic thing that needs to happen, that needed to happen. This is in the past. I also do feel like it could have been an addiction, an obsession, um, codependency. It could have been that as well. That could have come from a past life or could have even come from childhood, okay? Um, just out of the out of being un uncomfortable with a certain person or uncomfortable with a certain thing that happened. You may have totally forgotten about it and possibly pushed it down into your subconscious. I do definitely feel like you're moving away from that and you're actually having so much freedom around this. This is stunning. I absolutely love this group because you're... it's like totally showing to me really clearly that you're balancing out yourself from this death process and you're going to have commitment it's going to be absolutely amazing guys and if you've had a lot of relationships that have been very short term or you've had very short term kind of experiences that only lasted for a very short amount of time and they haven't been very long term this is a sign for you that you're going to have long-term commitment and you're going to be standing still i'm also getting the song i'm still standing i think by elton john I really do feel like that for you guys. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to comment back down below and subscribe. Also, if you heard a noise, that was me like moving my elbow across the table. Um, I did not fart, okay? <laughs> um, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all my information is always down below in the description box. My prices change all the time. So I do sales and discounts and things like that. So if you'd like a, a reading and you'd like to get a cheaper price, all my information is down below. My readings prices are always changing. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. And I hope you have a great day, evening, morning, wherever you are. Bye.